Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper A. Here we're working on question 5. Given that the resultant, so I'm just going to highlight that keyword there, resultant means add. So the addition of the vectors uh, 2pi minus 5j and 6i minus 3p is parallel to the vector 4i minus 5j. Calculate the value of p. OK, so if two vectors are parallel, I'm just going to use the vectors x and y, then the two vectors, uh, if they're parallel, are equal to each other um, with a scalar multiple in there. So we can include some lambda value in there. So for example, 2i plus 3j is parallel to 6i plus 9j with lambda being the value three here, no, lambda being the value of a third here, okay? Um, so, th so that's what we're going to look for. We're going to look for to set one vector equal to another vector, but we've got to include a scalar multiple in there as well. So first of all, the resultant of the two vectors. So a plus b um, equals uh, 2p, on the, I'm just looking at the i's here first, so it's going to be 2p plus 6 on the i, and for the j it's going to be minus 5 and minus 3p. Okay, so that's the resultant of the two vectors. So now we've got to do is what we've, uh, we've got to set this equal to, um, it's parallel to it, so it's some multiple of 4i minus 5j. Okay. So this lambda here is really important to set vectors parallel to each other. So what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to create two simultaneous equations just by looking at the i components on both sides and the j components on both sides. What I've got on the left hand side here for i is 2p plus 6. And on the left hand side, on the right hand side, sorry, I've got 4 lambda. And for the j components, that's my first simultaneous equation. For the j component, I've got minus 5 minus 3p equal to minus 5 lambda. Right, OK, so what I'm probably going to do is make 20 lambdas on the end here and set the two equal to each other. So multiplying the first equation by 5, and I'm going to get 10p plus 30 equals 20 lambda. And I'm going to times this one by minus 4, so I'll get rid of the negatives, and times it by 4. So that's going to give me 20, add 12p equals 20 lambda. So now I can set these two things equal to each other. 10p plus 30 equals 20 plus 12p. So taking things over to each side, 10 equals 2p. So p equals 5. Great. We only need that part for pi. We don't need to work out lambda. OK, part b is find the resultant of the vectors a and b. So part B is just going to be plug P back into this vector here. So 5, that's 10, that's 16i. Um, and plugging 5 in here, that would be minus 15, minus, minus 20j. And we can just check our answer as well, that this is parallel to this vector here. 4i, yeah, that's a multiple of 4, and minus 5j, that would be a multiple of 4 as well. Great, so the lambda value here is uh, representing a quarter in this case. Uh, no, it's, no, it's representing the number four in this case. Okay, anyway, six marks.